All right, so after drying overnight, this fast drying Varathene wood stain. This is oil based spring oak. It says one hour drying. So it does. If you do it by the instructions and you wipe it off with a paper towel, uh, it's a nice stain effect. However, this oil based product, I noticed has a very shiny urethane kind of quality although it doesn't really even say it on the can I, at least i don't know i haven't spotted it premium fast dry faster satisfaction guaranteed i don't know it doesn't say anything about gloss or high gloss but from this angle on the side you could see the shiny shine so this third coat got the color really dark matched it it's kind of giving me a roasted maple effect right so i'm going to leave it on there see if it'll dry it might take longer but you could see the splotches a lighter color if i wipe it off it's going to be lighter which actually we're starting to get darker tones than the original so we'll see this stuff tends to dry lighter but I wanted to protect the wood. What was originally happening here is, well, rusty strings didn't help. But all the bending and stuff, you're grinding the strings in there. And when I wore out the urethane and the layers of protective coating, it was digging into the wood, making a divot. And then it was starting to happen fast without protection for the wood. And the rusted strings, no bueno. So if I pull out, I think we could see the drying color, right? I think it's going to dry perfect. Uh, yeah, and then it's a little thicker. It's almost like poly built in. It seems to have a high gloss. Yeah, it totally looks different through the lens. Interesting. Down here, I got it pulled up big time. And uh, that particular fret is pretty splotchy. I'm not bending a whole lot up here. But you can see the wood grain coming through. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to wipe it down. We'll see if it doesn't dry. I'll have no choice. Um, but we'll see if it dries and leaves like a thick urethane coat. Now, I do have a water-based urethane by the same company. I'm not promoting them, but uh, this stuff, very, very light, crystal clear, gloss. Uh, if you cake it on and do the same technique, let it dry thick, maybe you're going to have the effect that we typically think with the uh, urethane. And, uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to have to come on thick with, if this dries right. So, yeah, I see I got some on the frets. I'm going to try to clean up the frets a little bit without scuffing it. Good luck with that, right? So I'm going to put the camera down and, uh, just so I don't have to polish and scrape off the frets too much later. We already did kind of a crown and polish. I don't have a crowning tool, so basically I was just using sandpaper. And we got rid of some of the divots. Hopefully it's not going to fret out. Ah, then I have to redo the frets. That's part of the reason I didn't do the half of the frets that I didn't do. Because why do double work? Uh, it'll be a lot easier if I pull the frets to just uniformly finish the whole neck. And then it'll be level. I kind of got a scalloping effect. And if you see down here at the right angle... You can see I kind of dug into the neck too much. It would be nice to even out with a file, but it might be an ever-ending task of deeper and deeper scallopation. Yeah, you see right there. It's hard to tell. It's not too bad. In fact, now that I'm filling it in with all this urethane, well, it's stain. We have no urethane on there yet. And I think I can do urethane. I can alternate back and forth. But this stuff seems to be thicker than the urethane. This oil-based stain, you would think, is not really thick. Stains we don't think of thick uh, and resinous. This one does have a certain density, yeah. Right, I even brushed it onto some of the finished frets so that we have more of a uniform color and finish. I'll probably be wiping it off some of these. Uh, I don't know. We're going to be polishing the whole deal. But it's looking pretty good, right? The color's pretty uniform. We had that striped effect. It's still a little bit stripey, but 
I think it's going to even out. Not that I really care that much, but yeah, overall I'd say we're looking pretty, pretty good. So at this rate, we might have strings back on it soon in a couple of days. And then we'll check and see if the abalone inlays came in. I don't know if I want to tear it up now. But we can play it for a while and see how it lasts. And if the frets are fretting out or not. I'll put some strings on to test it. And we'll see. If it's not fretting out, we can probably play it like this for a little while. If it is, got to replace the frets. And then we'll do the whole abalone inlay deal. I got some abalone knobs too coming. Replace these old plastic volume tone tone. Or we'll have to clean those old ones up if we don't get the new ones. All right, peeps. Uh, for now, looking sharp. Wow. I might not have to do anything. I just let it dry and the string up bad boy up. I already wet sanded it, so it's pretty smooth. And dust is your enemy. I had a couple of little dust grains down here. You could probably see a couple still in there. Not perfect. And then sanding them out. I don't know. Better than not have them in there. So I was trying to get them out, but... There's some brush strokes. It might dry with brush strokes. Could always wet sand it, like I say, and then fill it in with the poly. Yeah. Not that the poly is such a thick filler, but whatever. I can put another coat. This will just keep getting darker and darker. Uh, I guess to a point. All right, peeps. Good luck with your restoration. See you on the next one.